Right, are you ready for the second example, for the second vid of the second lesson of circles? There's no second there. So it says, A, B, and C lie on the circumference of a circle. Find the equation of a circle. So, where we go? Here we go. So if C is minus 15, 1, I actually can't actually put the thing, can I? I'll just make a botch it and botch it and let get approximation in my little game. Because if you think about the one's going to be the lower one. So let's just go with. A minus three one two and there's B B nine eleven C minus fifteen one. They're not really to, to scale now. So what we've got to think about then? Um, hmm. It's actually kind of juicy. I see this in a mad way. The perpendicular bisector on a chord goes from the centre. So if I used to, actually this used to be a GCS in kind of tier, believe it or not. So if I have a perpendicular bisector, it should go through the centre. So if I do another perpendicular bisector, it should go through the centre. And if I did it with a, from B to C, it should also go through. The centre, it probably won't because of my dodgy picture, but that's the idea. It actually was in GCSE high tier, but the perpendicular bisectors. Go through the origin. Right, go through the centre. There. You might have actually done it at, at school. Who knows? Right then. So let's have a go at this. Uh, so my midpoint for AB. So let's look at AB. So I want the midpoint and then I want the gradient to flip it. So AB midpoint will be average of x's. So that's minus 3 plus 9 over 2 is 3. 19 plus 11 is 30 over 2 is 15. The gradient of AB, so changing Y over changing X, so 11 minus 19, 9 minus minus 3, that's going to give me minus 2 thirds. You want to be fair, actually. Right, so therefore, my perpendicular will be 3 over 2. Right, so I'm going to use. When you're keeping up, I feel like I'm rushing here. The midpoint of the perpendicular, I've got the gradient from A to B. I've changed it into the perpendicular, so now I'm going that way. And I'm going to get its equation. So I'm going to use M equals 3 over 2 and 3 comma 15. So I've got Y minus 15 is 3 over 2, X minus 3. Now it's actually easier if I'm going to sort, so I'm going to do this. Actually, I'm going to do similar here now. So if I do, let's do B to C now. So B to C midpoint comes out as minus 3, 6. B to C gradient comes out as 5 over 12 if you work it out. So 1 take 11 over minus 15 take 9. So my perpendicular is minus 12 over 5. So I'm going to use m is minus 12 over 5 and the coordinate minus 3, 6. So that would be y minus 6 is minus 12 over 5, x plus 3. Right, so to solve these simultaneously, it's better to have it x is y equals a number. So I've got, if I take the 2 up, I've got 2y minus 30 is 3x minus 9. So I've got, if I take the x's over, take the y's over, I've got 
3x minus 2y, take the 9 over, is minus 21. So just put the minus 21 on the other side, even though it looks like I've kind of done a higgledy piggledy move around. I've got a 3x minus 2y and I've taken over the 9. Right, so then if I do for this one, times 3 by 5, I've got 5y minus 30 is minus 12x minus 36. So I have the x's. So move the x that way, move the 30 that way. That's a bit easier, isn't it? 12x plus 5y is equal to minus 6. Whew. If I solve them simultaneously, I get minus 3, 6. So that there is the centre of my circle. But I've not done yet. I've got the centre. So I know that the centre was minus 3, 6. This is going to absolutely blow your head. Uh, so now I just want the distance. So I can do the distance from the centre to any of the points I'm going to choose. Um, so I'll get the distance. From centre, which is minus 3, 6, to any of the points. You have a go, whether you use A, B or C, and see if you get the distance to be 13 again. This all the same equation, do something weird and wonderful with it. So see if you can get that with your math. Still just copy it so you can do it. Uh, so I've got the question, the equation would be x plus 3 squared, y minus 6 squared. It's 13 squared, so 169. I reckon that's it. Seven minutes, that's up. Oh, there's one more example as well. 